What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and as you guys already know, the DLC season for Call of Duty Modern Warfare is going to be absolutely crazy, revolutionary, and historical, so to say, in terms of the massive amount of content we're going to be getting that's going to be free for one, and it's ranging from maps, game modes, and so much more, and also because Xbox One, PS4, and PC players are all going to be getting DLC maps at the same exact time, and now a lot of these maps, if not all of them have been leaked out alongside images with a few of them so we're going to be taking a look at this plus a new update that came out yesterday and some future updates to come this month let's check it out Now guys, a few weeks ago, in fact, dating back all the way in September, a couple of these maps were leaked out from a mysterious source spread out all over the internet. It's kind of hard to track down exactly who made the first report and even who this guy was, um, but even the Gaming Revolution also gave us some information too about these maps as well. But over on Reddit, user Senekalo posted a total of 38 up and coming multiplayer maps for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and they also include a few old school maps from the Modern Warfare series. A lot of these may ring a bell to some of you guys out there and then we also have a few gunfight maps ground war maps six versus six and ten versus ten maps and then two maps for the gun course which essentially is like the pit from modern warfare 2 where you have to race through the course as fast as possible while clearing out enemy targets and avoiding the civilian casualties so like i said a lot of maps are in this map pack coming out here in fact they may even be the total map count for the modern warfare series as a whole or maybe this list could be the total map count up until the first half of the game's release cycle I don't know but definitely for sure there are a lot of maps spread out across all the different game mode types so for the maps that we have for gunfight we have cage cargo and hook and then we also have exclusion zone and then shoot house and then moving on to the 6v6 and 10v10 maps we have Anaya attack Crash, Dam, Kravnik, Farmland, Gulag, Hospital, Layover, Lowline, Lumber, Mayashev, Millbase, Oasis, Port, Prison, Ravine, Shipment, Shipment Day, Shipment Night, Slum, Stadium, Subbase, Super, Uzbekistan, Torres, Transit, and then a TV Station. And then for the maps that have images, we have Farida, Rust, Borderline, and then Takedown. So, like I said, a few of these maps like Rust, Shipment, Subbase, etc., probably brought back a couple of memories for you old school COD fans out there. And then finally for Ground War, we have Smetna Farms. And there's also an in-game map layout that was posted on the Reddit thread, which like the name suggests, it's based on a farm. And then finally for the two gun course maps, there are images that were in the Reddit post as well. So yeah, this is by far the biggest DLC map count we've ever had in Call of Duty history. And a part of me thinks that Infinity Ward isn't even done yet with designing more maps for the game. But really all I hope for is that most of these maps are going to be fun and enjoyable to play because I'll tell you right now in Modern Warfare there really isn't a map that I can say like oh yeah I'm excited to play on whatever or please 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 give us this map right here all of the maps in that game really aren't that fun to me and they just don't stand out to me there's always you know maybe like one to five maps in every Call of Duty game that stands out but in Modern Warfare I just I really don't get that feel for any of these maps in the game. Even the ground war maps, I just simply don't like care to play on a, on a particular one. So with the Modern Warfare DLC map release, hopefully like at least one of these or a couple of them have to be good. So uh, I'm very, very excited for this, guys. This is absolutely huge. And yeah, just in general, hats off to Infinity War for designing all of these maps and making a huge DLC content release. Moving on to some updates, now on November the 2nd around 2 o'clock central time last night, update 1.06 came out, um, but the official patch notes have not been released at the time I'm recording this video, but if they do, I'll make sure to post them down below in the description for you guys. And so far the most noticeable changes are that kill confirmed and night vision goggles were added into the game mode list, but besides that, not much has been reported, although Xbox players are saying that their games still keep crashing, um, but I do imagine that later today Infinity Ward is going to update us on some of the back-end stuff they're working on which includes the crashing error issue and then hopefully some details on the future for the game because it was reported by the gaming revolution that Modern Warfare is set to receive a huge overhaul update but the ETA for this upcoming overhaul was set to come out this month by the end of November and one of the biggest features are the mini-map it's going to be returning to the normal state again where the enemy that 
shoots their gun is going to appear on the screen with a red dot revealing their location. So, of course, this information is not 100% confirmed yet, but after a lot of feedback from the fans, I think at least Infinity Ward is going to touch base on the subject again for sure, but I definitely could see them reverting back to the old original minimap concept. But as for, you know, what other things are going to be happening, I really don't have a clue. Of course, maybe some, like, spawn rework updates could happen, but that just doesn't scream overhaul to me. Like, overhaul has to deal with something like game changing. Um, Overwatch has a couple of overhauls with the meta even, and I could definitely see something like that happening, but I'm just very, very curious to know, you know like what exactly is just overhaul? What do they mean by that? What is their definition of overhaul? Um, but if anything though, please still keep all of this in mind. It's just purely leaks and nothing has been 100% confirmed yet or even mentioned by Infinity Ward or Activision. But now going back to the map list, leak we do know that modern warfare is gonna have seasons so maybe we could see a few of these maps dropping at every different season or maybe they could just release these maps randomly across the game cycle like maybe during a big title update or something who knows it's kind of crazy to think that there still is a little bit of mystery on the DLC content even though the game's already out now plus we do know so so much about the DLC seasons that was posted in the Activision blog post but like I said there still is that mystery around it still but yeah guys please tell me thoughts about this down below in the comments again all the links and credit for everything is going to be in the description thanks for watching love you all so so much till next time i'll see you guys later